Hello everyone, welcome to some Binding of Isaac after birth here. Going to be starting up a new save file. It's a nice little roguelite dungeon crawler where we basically go through floors, getting items, and killing bosses until we end up getting to the last boss. This one will probably be Mom. Well, it actually will be Mom as long as we don't completely mess up. And the big draw in this game is just mainly getting synergies and getting different items, so interested to see what we can get from this crawl space especially very rare you just find a crawl space unless you have something like stompy but we're able to get a ton of money from down here nine cents almost enough to buy a full price item from the shop which is a very I'm very interested in that got a lot of bombs I'd love to get some keys to get in that golden chest but for now I have to wait on that I was hoping to get some soul hearts from that tinted rock, what that golden chest did come from is a tinted rock, which is a rock that's a little different color than the rest, and it's not worth it. And it also has an X on it, so next one I will not blow up so quick so we can look at it a little bit. There it is. You can see it's a little bluer, it's got that X on it, and it drops some soul hearts to the pot, it drops spiders, sometimes it can drop money. but. Also gives us enemies sometimes and the shop if we had a key might be worth it, but as of now I'm gonna pass in favor of the golden chest. It could give us something that could be very useful at least three items um, between Guppy or Cricket's head being a big damage multiplier Steven giving us some damage. That's a nice little investment Bob's brain It's damage help that I'm not too keen on because it can end up killing us in the wrong position or at least dealing damage and Tammy's head's another thing I would love to have gotten but we get the broken remote which I will not take as it basically just teleports you whenever you use your spacebar item not too great especially if you get a good spacebar item and triple char or triple A battery is actually a lot better as in the fact that it just gives you an extra free charge on your spacebar item making you be able to use it one room less on the charge time it's very good if we're able to get something that has a two floor charge rate like shoop to whoop using shoop to whoop every floor is or every room is huge if we can get it but what we did get there is a range upgrade, not great. Hoping to keep this soul heart for this entire floor, never mind. Now if we take damage, we lose a deal with the devil, which could give us the item that we need to make this run a lot easier. As usually, you're able to trade dam or trade HP for some pretty nice damage ups or tier effects, but a little bit of a danger of losing that thanks to Bob's brain which is the main reason I was kind of hesitant to take it but it is a damage boost get HP and a little bit of damage there always nice stigmata is not too bad doesn't give you a big damage boost at all but some is better than none especially when it comes with a HP help as well get through here and there's a chance we can get the soul hearts back from that tinted rock which I would be ecstatic about Tarot card's interesting, but this is much more of a sure bet. And that's probably the best outcome we could have gotten from the tarot card anyway. That room I'd love to have a bomb and for chance that it has a tinted rock damn bomb brain, I would love to get rid of you. Alright. These guys actually Bob's brain is useful against them, very much so. That just takes them out, poisons on what is left of them. It's a big damage dealer, but it's hard to get used to avoiding the unlock monstro's tooth, which is an okay space bar item. But the big thing here is we got magic mush, and I'll take Guppy's head. Not gonna take Sister Maggie there. So magic mush is an all stats up, gave us HP and every other stat, along with a huge multiplier of our damage. It's gonna go means that every other damage up that we get is going to be improved by the fact that we have magic mush just augmenting every bonus we get one downside we are a bigger target so higher chance to get hit and we got guppy's head which one third of a guppy transformation which is exciting and one of the better ones too as every time you use it you generate 
a number of flies, I believe between one and four, I could be mistaken, maybe one and five. Maybe you, I think it's a minimum of two actually, but what the flies do is they deal double your damage to any target they hit. Which is very good to have. Hopefully going the right way, I'm not too big, I can go through that room again. Not too tough, but all the same, it's a pretty annoying room and we get killed by this guy charging us a couple times. Not a great chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor anyway, so taking red HP damage wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but still not something you want to do. And we did take it, so there goes pretty much any chance. The reason I said we're not likely to get one is the floor after you get a deal with the devil, you have a pretty largely decreased chance of getting one on the... After you get a deal with the devil, you have a very much decreased chance of getting one on the next floor, what it should be. Here, 9 volt is great if we add another space bar item that had a more than one floor charge time, as it makes the first charge on it free as soon as you use the space bar item, making it to where everything takes one floor less to recharge. I'm going to get the item room before I go to the next or to the boss at least. If I had more bombs I would use them there. Unfortunately I don't. Stay out of range of Bob's brain. There we get a soul heart. And the monster manual manual not worth taking we got a little show. But not nearly as good as as Guppy's head or Cricket's head or Tammy's head for that matter. Any of the heads. Except for Head of the Keeper, maybe. Actually, it's a lot better than Head of the Keeper. Or, it's a lot worse than Head of the Keeper, I should say. But, you can see our damage is pretty good by the fact that we can just take out Mega Ma very quickly. And we actually get a bit of a bonus from um, the quicker charge now. I see we're just charging up in our room. So, we could technically get a ton of flies if we get a room where we're able to just let the enemies regen or stay alive and just continually use Guppy's head to summon endless flies, but it's a bit more time than I would like to take just getting flies. So on non very long boss fights it's not going to be too much of a use. thing though is at least we're not taking too much damage from Bob's brain anymore. I do want that nickel. This room. I want to at least take out one side so I can just focus on one half of the room and not on the other half. Go. Two more dudes. We are. We got a lot of keys. We got a lot of money. HP is looking pretty good so a deal with the devil here would actually be nice for maybe an extra damage up. Damage isn't bad for a run that's only going to mom, but all the same is a little bit risky. Pop that open, get a judgment card. Gonna take out the boss first. I'm not a big fan of the stain, but it shouldn't be too hard. We have good enough to get it. Avoid his shots. We don't get hit. Hopefully Bob's brain goes in. We get another charge on Guppy's head. Doesn't really matter there. HP and a trinket. There are a couple trinkets I would take, and that's not one of them. Take both of these. That would have been the wrong order if we wouldn't have realized first. We can play this guy down to get an extra item, which is Sinrobes. Get Lazarus thanks to the bonus HP. Get a Zazel for all the evil hearts. Or is it deal with the devils? I'm not sure. But now our damage is very good thanks to two damage ups. Guppy's tail gives us one guppy item away from a big buff in transforming into guppy. As well as fear shot there from the dark matter pickup. And guppy's tail also gives you a bunch of golden chests. But you get less... Well, I guess we're taking the map after all. But you do get less key drops. It gives you more chests that require keys and it allows you to pick up less keys, which is kind of a trade-off that was stupid. 
Just walking over the spikes there. And yeah, we're gonna try our damnedest to just lose this run here. Lemon mishap. That's what it does. It's not good. It's not horrible if you don't have anything else against certain early bosses, but does not have any of the favorable effects that would make us keep a space brightum over Guppy's head. Let's go on to the last few floors. Or last couple floors, as it looks like we only have two left. Bob's brain did quite a bit of work for us there, actually, so not altogether. Finally, one shotting spiders, too. It's not being altogether a negative. We've actually gotten some pretty good use out of it. I just. It's easy to complain when an item that you pick up deals a lot of damage to you and not see the good points of it. Especially, especially after doing the brains challenge, it's kind of easy to go after Bob's brain without realizing how useful it is. Brains challenge is a challenge, by the way, which you can't shoot, and you can only use Bob's brains to deal damage unless you get something else dropped, which a lot of the times is the case. I don't remember what I got on Bob's on the brains challenge that allowed me to win it. It was one of the ones that gave me trouble along with speed and one other. That's not worth it either. It's a little Pokeball you can pick up enemies with and use them as charged familiars on one room. It's bad at best. Doesn't really have any beneficial effect for us. Ooh, that scared me. thought we were going to die there for some reason. We have a lot of HP, but I thought we were going to die. Lots more consumables out of there. Bogo bombs. At this point, it's not really worth going back for. We have a ton of bombs. Or at least more bombs than we'll probably need with only one more floor left to go. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in the pill, though, which is tears up. Great. You can shoot more often. And when you have pretty good damage, tears up is a huge benefit. And we do have great damage. Blow those up. Basically get back what we paid for it. Unless we get a demon judgment, in which case we get more than a little bit of a bonus. Will this blow up both sides? Yes. Next room where I get a bunch of bombs. Should have killed the one on the right first, as is usually the advisable way to do that room, but we didn't, so we took some damage. Shouldn't be the end of the world, but then again, anytime you take stupid damage like that, it is a bad time, and yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of trouble with Monstro, too. I was hoping to get him to fire off a brimstone shot just so he could stand still for long enough and allow us to damage him quite a bit, but one more jump. There we go. Got him. That is very nice, actually. It's an HP and allows us to fire a lot more bullets, though they travel a lot slower. Good places I need to use the judgment and see if maybe we can get a payout from him. Pretty quick HP payout. I'm not going to complain about that in the least. I should have known that would happen. And overall, I'm kind of happy we only took one damage from there, knowing how this run has gone so far with me taking my own damage. Golden chest is interesting, but no way to get to it. Make sure we're using Guppy's head as often as possible. Tons of money. Tons of bombs. Our keys are kind of scary. Don't know why I came in here, as we knew it wouldn't lead anywhere, but I'm glad I did. Don't need money, but there might be something in the shop that could be interesting for us. This is going to hurt. At least we only took one damage there, letting all three of them corner us there. Just watching and waiting for him to kill us was kind of not great. Get some mom hands here. Ooh, it's a big mom hand. Skeleton ones are 
in my opinion, actually easier than just getting swarmed by a bunch of the ones that will pull you out of the room, but all the same. Kind of dangerous. They just come out of nowhere if you're not listening for the laugh. It's actually where Bob's brain and fear shot could do us a lot of help. The donor flies do it for us. Down to red heart HP, luckily we have a lot of it. I think there's no reason we don't go for our item room here. We'd just be lazy and put us in more dan or in more danger than we need. Not to. Let me see if we can get some good out of it. We don't need the item room, but there's no reason not to go through it. And the shop. Great stats. There's no way we should die on mom whatsoever. No matter how stupidly we play, especially with Unicorn Horn, we're gonna take it just as a boss killing item. See what we can get from the shop. If it's halfway decent, we're gonna take it. It's not halfway decent, so we're not gonna take it. Empty jar, you can just store HP in it. There's no HP on the floor. And even if there wasn't, Unicorn Horn is still probably more useful. So we're going to go kill the boss. This done Unicorn Horn gives us invulnerability and we can charge at enemies and deal damage to them. Pretty nice way to deal some damage straight off to a mom. Basically strategy of this fight, don't let her overwhelm you and just damage her down as quickly as possible. Luckily we have good damage so it can go easy. This fight, the major way it's dangerous is if you don't have good damage and you just can't keep up with the enemies, but this late in the game, that's kind of rare. Once you get to this point, unless you've gotten a really bad soy milk run, it's good. And we finish unlocking the womb and a ton of challenges, as well as, I believe, the horseman as well. I should have shown the seed at the beginning of the run. That was my mistake, and I will do that from now on. Onan Streak is the one that I had trouble with. Guardian I had a little bit of trouble with thanks to Scapegoat Isaac Hart, but we won't be doing challenges for a little bit. So, as always, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you again next time.